Hello my hey, loves, welcome or welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna be doing a comparison video of these two highlighters right here This is Jaclyn Hill's Putty Highlighter from her Hot Collection from this summer Yeah, from this summer And this is La Costa Highlighter from Alamar Cosmetics Let me show you the Jaclyn Hill one it's not a YouTube video for Mina if she doesn't drop anything. But anyway, this is how Jaclyn Hill's highlighter looks like. I've used it numerous times, but I thought this would be a great video to compare these two highlighters. Because I wanted to review both of them separately, but then I was like, okay, they've been out for some time now. LMR is a company I've never heard of before until I went to Instagram and they were like promoting these highlighters. And I was like, girl, that looks so dewy and so nice. Like... I need that. I need that in my life. So I grabbed me one. I wasn't thinking that they were that soft after. Right after I purchased it, I went back to get the other one, I think. And I noticed that this shade actually sold out in like three days. I was like, well, I was missing out. But I was just happy that I grabbed it anyway. I should have definitely grabbed the brush with it. Anyway, it's fine. But this is how beautiful it looks. I haven't touched it yet. I've been like literally stopping my little tiny fingers from touching them the past like one week ever since I got them. Okay, before I touch it, I actually want you guys to see it one more time because I'm about to destroy this. You guys see how pretty it looks? Oh my god. Let's do it together. Oh girl this is so beautiful so let me do the putty one from Jaclyn hill i kind of just wanted to compare it also i took plenty of photos which i'm gonna post on my insta and probably insert it in this video but i'm not gonna lie the Jaclyn hill is more dewy but this is really pretty too and they definitely have different undertones this is the alamar one and this is the Jaclyn one i'm gonna look crazy wearing two different highlighters but it's okay because the things i do for you guys you all know that the Jaclyn hill one is definitely super putty let's do like costa on this side so i'm gonna first try with a dry brush and then spray my brush okay such a pretty glow i definitely don't need to spray my brush for this one. Oh my gosh i need to stop because i'm gonna keep going you guys need to stop me like slap my hand or something i'm serious what <laughs> i love this okay let's do let's put some on my forehead It's like a dewy, nice, wet finish. And let's do some on my chin. Half of my chin, I should say. And maybe half of my nose. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm putting that away now. I'm literally being a good girl right now. You guys saw that, right? Let me move my hair to the side a little bit. And then we're gonna do the Jaclyn Hill one. And let's see how this turns out. Oh, okay, Jackie, I see you. Can you even call her that? Does she get mad? I mean... The undertones are so similar when I apply it. Maybe just my skin tone. I don't know what it is. I don't know which one I like. Okay, I'm gonna put some right here. Okay, one thing I'm noticing already is that the putty one, maybe just me expecting a lot from it, but it's definitely not showing up as quick as I'd like it to, especially knowing that it's supposed to be like putty and just very smooth. This is more like smoother for whatever reason. I don't know. I know. I'm definitely not being biased. I love Jaclyn Hill and I love her products. I don't even know Alamar Cosmetics like that. And this is literally the first item or product that I tried from this company. And so far, I'm super, duper impressed where else needs a highlighter maybe my lip i mean don't get me wrong they're both very very pretty i'm showing you guys my fingers hi i don't have any complaints i believe the Jaclyn hill is 29 dollars though and the alamar is only 20 dollars just keep that in mind i've never done a highlighter review so i was really excited about this and i knew it was gonna be a quick one i either kept forgetting about it or i had so many other videos that i had to put out before this because obviously this was not as important and today i did my makeup because you know i was gonna record another video for you guys which i'm not gonna spoil and i was like i haven't done highlighter this is my chance and here we are but anyway when i swatched them the undertones were very similar but not on my cheeks and they're both like champagne shades which is a highlighter undertone that i love so much anyway i would definitely recommend the shades for lighter skin tone people deep skin tone people just have so many options to like brown skin tone i always get jealous of them honestly they have the trophy wipe they just have so many options when it comes to highlighters and they can even use highlighters for fair skin tone people which is not fair i mean come on now life's not fair right 
But anyway, the Jaclyn Hill one is definitely a little more expensive. And they're both giving me that glow that I'm living for and loving so much. This is definitely going to be more of a natural glow. This is more of like out there, Mina type of highlighter. And I know a lot of people are not a fan of this. So you might want to go for this. But I don't even know what the hell I'm reviewing a highlighter that's not in stock anymore. But it is what it is. <laughs> My thoughts and opinions, I love them both. But I think I like this one better, the Alamar one. I'm not disappointed in the Jaclyn Hill one either thank you guys so much for helping me get to another milestone i love you guys so much and i'll see you all next time i hope bye bye